So as per usual, my math thoughts have been turned up to 11. And so when I went hiking with a few friends the other day, one thing was on my brain the entire time. Now you might have just seen a ton of nature, but one thing that makes all of these pieces of the great outdoors different flavors of fractals is their organized roughness. But what do I mean by that? To give an example, if we're looking at two things, one of them a curve like a parabola, and the other a tree, as we zoom in on each object, in the parabola we're not really able to make out any more detail. But when you zoom in on the tree, you can make out even more detail, as you can now see some of the smaller branches that you weren't able to before, and the smaller branches that branch off of those smaller branches, because recursion is a thing. Anyway, moving on. I've talked about fractal geometry a handful of times in the past, so although I was at peace with the world and excited to nerd out about fractals more to the annoyance of my companions, I was pretty sure it wouldn't become a video. But after drinking some nostalgia on the ride back home, it eventually occurred to me that it's not very intuitive to see what points are in fractals, either constructed or real. But I could apply a fractal construction to something like maybe a, a video clip, and then as it played, it could feed one's intuition about where points are in relation to one another in fractal-like sets. And that can help one's intuition around the organized roughness that fractals have. So at the nexus of this idea was the canner set construction, which I've talked about before, but is as follows. One, take the closed segment from zero to one and remove the open middle third from one third to two thirds. Two, we're just gonna repeat step one with the resultant segments ad infinitum or you know, follow Buzz Lightyear's tagline to avoid the Latin here. And three, then you have a canner set to look at after you've done that infinitely many times. The problem of visualizing the roughness of a canner set on a number line is that the atom of a number line is a point. No matter how many times you fruit ninja your way through the number line, you can always break up the resultant line segments into smaller line segments that are not atoms of the number line. You're never going to cut a line segment in the way described by the canner construction to get just a point left over. The reason I thought videos would be a good vehicle for visualizing this construction and the relation between points in the resultant mathematical object of this construction is that the same isn't true for videos. Take an abstract mathematical view of what a video is, and that will lead you to a function that takes points on the number line to a discrete number of line segments, where each of these line segments corresponds to a frame. The topology of the line is not retained in this mapping. You can't break up a frame. So frames are the atoms of a video, whereas a point is an atom of the real line. And since we can break down a video into frames in a finite number of steps, we will be able to complete the canner set construction on the video in a finite amount of time. So the next thing to do here is just to apply it to a video clip. Uh, The only missing piece was that I didn't really have one to work with. I thought Snapchat memories would be a pretty weird thing to pull out of nowhere. Just a few days ago, a friend of mine sent over one of hers from a while back. I made sure to ask. She seemed pretty okay with it. So we're going to use her video to apply this construction. Once I got the okay, I spent a while editing it. Turns out iMovie videos cannot be a single frame. They have to be at least four frames. So the atoms I was working with were four times the size than what I had initially anticipated, which actually turned out to be a blessing in disguise. And by the time I was finished editing, oh my, that was, that was creepy. And so I made it as scary and creepy as I possibly could. So here is the final result, a visualization of the canner set using a video clip. Anyway, uh, so this was a weird video, and that is all I have for you today. Uh, If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more mathematics videos. But other than that, that's kind of it. So 
As always, I am Nathan, this is Chalk, and I will see you next time.